Today, I'm going to be making the birds. I have a moose mix here. I have two moose mixes and one trifle kit. So I'm going to let Kevin make the trifle kit. So I'm going to set that aside for right now. And I'm going to make these uh, moose mixes one at a time. I have the indulgent salted caramel and the indulgent milk chocolate. These were all three sent to us from Stacy Ann in the UK. So thank you very much, Stacy Ann. And so, um, I'm going to leave, let, move one to the side and I'm going to work on uh, one at a time. So this is the caramel uh, indulgent salted, salted caramel. It makes two delicious salted caramel mousses with a perfectly bubbly texture, it says. So what you need is um, one fifth pint or 110 milliliters of cold semi skimmed or whole milk. Um, you pour that into a bowl. So that is not much milk at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that in and then you want to stir, uh, stir in the sachet contents and scrape down the sides. So I'm going to pour this in and it says these are, are new. So I'm going to pour this in. And then scrape down the sides, I guess, in case any of it got up on the side like that. And then, after you scrape down the sides, you are supposed to whisk this for two minutes. So, once I get this off the sides, like this, I'm going to, uh, I've got a timer and I'm going to set my timer and I'm going to uh, whisk it for two minutes now. So now you take your two ramekins like this. And these are small ramekins. They specifically said to use small ramekins and you divide this up between the two. This is a very, very uh, small dessert for just two people. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these in the refrigerator and I will make the next one. So this is the same thing, but it, uh, except this one is milk chocolate. So you pour your milk in there and it's no wonder it's, no wonder it's not much milk because it's just a dessert for two. So then you take this Pour it in. There's a lot of little sugar pieces in there. So then it said, once again, you scrape the side like before. So you don't have any powder up on the side. Get it as best you can, but then I noticed a while ago when I was whisking it, that um, I was able to get it all off anyway. So now I'm going to set my timer again for two minutes and whisk this. Okay, so you have your ramekins here and once again, divide it up into the two and then this is going to go in the refrigerator with the other ones. Okay, now Kevin's gonna make the uh, trifle kit. And I'm gonna show you, I think this is weird. The directions here are not complete. Make custard and pour immediately over sponge. It doesn't help me much. So what you have to do is you follow step one, then you basically open the box up so I can see what it looked like. You basically then have to read the directions on the actual package itself. Then the next thing says make whip. Well, here's the whip topping. You, or those the whip topping, you have to follow the directions on the package. So you just have to follow the directions on each individual package instead of them printing it all on one box. It saved room, they just put it on each individual package. So anyway, so I've got my bowl. I've got uh, two tablespoons of sugar, 
um, about 380 milliliters of milk and then another two tablespoons of milk right here. And then, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these fingers and you're supposed to break them into four pieces. I wanna break them in the package so I'm not gonna crumb it over. And I'm gonna put them on the bottom of my bowl that I'm gonna to use to, to make it. And we've just got a, uh, a bowl here. And just cover the bottom and you're gonna take your two tablespoons of milk and just pour it on top and just let them, let them soak. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my custard powder. I'm gonna push these things aside. You got the, by the way, you got the custard powder, you got the dream topping, which I'm assuming like a Cool Whip. You got the chocolate flavored whip mix and you've got two little things of these little sprinkles um, to go in there. So I'm gonna put everything else aside and I'm gonna follow the directions on here. So the first thing we need to do is um, put the package of this with two tablespoons of sugar, which I already have, into a saucepan. And birds is like super, super light powder. I mean, it's a very almost, it's finer than almost powdered sugar. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm gonna stir it up just a little bit. And they recommend you add just a little bit of milk to this and make a, like a paste. I guess it helps get the clumps out. That's the only thing I can think. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add the rest of my milk. Stir it up really good. And then I'm gonna put this on the stove and you want it to gently boil. Uh, once it's gently boiling, then it's ready to go. So I'm going to uh, get to that point and I'll be back. Okay, it just had started boiling, but boy, you can tell it, it thickened up all very, very quickly. I mean like fast. So we're just gonna pour this directly over top of the fingers that have been soaking in milk. They're, they're good and tender. But you have to stir, I didn't mention it, but you have to stir it pretty much constantly the whole time it's heating up. Because if you don't, it will stick and burn horribly on the bottom. So I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. So a little trip tip it gives you, and I already knew this anyway, I was gonna do it anyway. If you take a little piece of plastic wrap and let it touch the surface of that, don't just cover it, but you have to actually put it on there and let it touch, it keeps you from getting a skin on it. So you actually want it to not stick to your bowl like this is doing. You actually want it to touch your, um, your custard. And then when you take it out, it won't have a skim on it, a skin on it. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. It has to cool off 100% before we do the next part, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we've got the the um, custard is almost cooled off. I mean, it is cooled off. Um, so we've got 150 milliliters of cold milk, and we're just gonna pour this in here. In the bowl. And then we're gonna add the contents of this and then whisk it until it's smooth and creamy. And I will probably do it for a couple minutes, just to, just like Hammy did in the mousse. All right, this is my uh, uh, custard. I'm just gonna pull the plastic off. And then I'm gonna pour this right on top of it. Okay, so just smooth it, spread it out evenly. And this is gonna go in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. All right, now I'm gonna make the very last step. This one is the uh, topping is what it says. It's the dream topping, dream topping. Um, you're gonna add 110 milliliters or four fluid ounces of cold milk. It does recommend you use an electric mixer because you are going to uh, uh, mix it till you get peaks like you would a, a like whipped cream, like Cool Whip or something. So you're gonna add the package to this. Um, yeah, that's it.
All right, it's been 10 minutes and my uh, topping is all whisked up. See, it's got good peaks. It reminds you of Cool Whip. Uh, it really does. I'm gonna have to do smaller little pieces than that because it really doesn't spread. So I've got that all spread out. Now I'm just gonna add the sprinkles as the last decorative step. See if I can do this without dumping them all in one spot. I took pictures and so at the end of the video there will be pictures of everything um, we're gonna try the indulgent milk chocolate first it says an 80 gram portion as prepared is 128 calories but I doubt very seriously that takes into consideration whatever milk you use because everybody's gonna use different milk so I'm just gonna... Ooh. It's good and thick. yes it is Moose should be a little fluffy. Mm -hmm. The bad thing about that is I can eat it like very quickly. It's not incredibly sweet. Mm -mm. No, it has a good flavor to it. But it, yes, but it has a um, like a cocoa, mm -hmm. a chocolate cocoa flavor. Yeah, but it, it I agree with you. It's not super, super mm -mm. sweet, but it is um, it is very good. But I do love the texture of it. Yeah, it's it's whipped up. It's not as whipped up as some mousse is. It's not like really fluffy, but uh, but you do get some air in there too, so it's good. The salted caramel is 131 calories. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. Because give you a baseline. Once again, it's not. It's delicious, and I like that one more. Mm -hmm. I like the salted oh, caramel. Too. It has a very strong caramel. I don't necessarily get salt, but no, I don't either. I get a strong caramel mm -hmm. flavor. Um, I do. Almost butterscotchy. Yes. Yeah. It is. Uh, it is almost like butterscotch. Um, I, I really like the flavor, but it's not an overly sweet, like, like a lot of times you'll get, uh, like a caramel flavor, but it still is really, really sweet. That, it just doesn't have it, but it's delicious and I love the texture. I would get that again. Yeah, yeah. Here's I think that's a nice dessert for two. This was the perfect size bowl, by the way. Mm -hmm. Now the cookies are way down the, I know. In the middle. I know. That's why I'm just going to kind of. Scoop up a big old scoop. Yeah. And we'll see what comes out. They're going to be a little smushy, anyone? Right. I don't know. Yeah, I guess they are. You got them. They're just turned to, they're just... Turned to mush. <laughs> oh, there's one. Okay. So, is that good for That's both good. of us? Or you have got no, a different... No, no, we can try. I got two plates here. One for each of us. But, but I did get a lot out here. I'm going to get some of that... You want to get some of the topping too? Yeah, I'm waiting to use oh, it in the way. Oh, in the way. <laughs> so this is the trifle, and it's 153 calories for 136 grams. You just need to enjoy it. Hmm. Um, that's good. It's again, it's not overly sweet, but we're not used to. I mean, we're used to really sweet things anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this part again. That's good. Um, years ago, they might still sell them, but um, mm. ages ago, 100,000 years ago, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken used to sell these layered parfaits. You could buy them yes. the little cups. Um, that reminds me of that. It's not quite as sweet, but it the mm -hmm. flavors remind me of that chocolate one they used mm -hmm. to have. This, for people in America, this is a, um, a nice chocolate pudding. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes yeah. like. So... And the, the fingers at the bottom have just a touch of crunchiness to them here or there, like little spots, but most of it's just mushy. Right. So you, you go to a lot of extra trouble to make it because you're trying to get those layers. This is one of those, a trifle is one of those desserts. You normally wouldn't make it for you. You would make it to take somewhere because mm -hmm. it's pretty visually. And you want to get the differences in the color 
visually. That's that's why you make a trifle. That's why I make a trifle. Uh, we've made trifles in the past, but it's always to serve to a group of people. It's not to keep it home for us. Um, so, but it tastes basically like a really nice chocolate pudding. Yeah, with some whipped cream on the top. But honestly, out of the three birds that we tried, I would yeah. choose the salted caramel. I, agree. Um, I really like the mousse. Uh, I really like the texture mm -hmm. of that mousse. Yeah, I agree. 100%. And it's thick, and you could make that one dessert. You could make it last for a while yeah. if 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 you have restraint. I have problems with restraint. So so which was your favorite? The, the salted caramel. The salted caramel. So, thank you very much to Stacey Ann for sending us these. We really appreciate it. Uh, it's been fun, and thanks for watching.